are ya? She did one of those cheesy real estate videos. I'm here at Eagle Creek in Tarpon Springs, one of the more unique neighborhoods in all of Pinellas County because it's one of the very few that is entirely new construction from top to bottom. All 50 home sites in here are built by David Weekly Homes and they're either brand new recently built or as you can see, still under construction. So if you're interested in new construction in Tampa Bay, this might be a good spot for you, especially if you're interested in North Pinellas County. So in this video, we'll take a look at the model home and some of the floor plan options that you have. We'll cover the local attractions and why this part of Pinellas County is so sought after. And since we're in Florida, of course, we're gonna cover the golf as well. So let's take a look at the model first. This is the Adelaide model. They have seven different models for the garden series, which are 60 foot wide lots and four different models for the cottage series, which are uh, 50 foot wide lots. You first walk in, you look to the right, you got your two spare bedrooms. Uh, the biggest takeaway I got when I first walked through these homes was just how solid they felt when they were built. There's a lot of homes around here that are wood frame, older homes built in the 20s through the 40s. There's a salesman taking his way out. Uh, and this is all concrete mason. Everything here is black, at least in the first floor. Second floor is under construction. Looks like they were going to be wood frame at least. So there's the two guest bedrooms up front. A really nicely done hall bathroom. Everything's just really higher end finishes because they're in Pinellas County. They know it demands a bigger buck and people are gonna pay for it. So, all right, now our big reveal, come down our main entrance hall, which feels bigger than it looks and it looks pretty big. Got a nice swooping reveal here of the kitchen area, which overlooks the living room. And it's this model is an open concept, but all of them are pretty open. I haven't seen a new builder really even introduce a model that's more closed off in a while. So as you can see, this overlooks the retention pond as well. So this model home is for sale. It's the last home they'll sell in here. And it has an infinity pool effect, but not all of them do have that overlooking it because they don't all overlook the balcony. Oh, I'm sorry, the retention pond. We've got the big master, which is pretty big. Um, the finishes like the planking or the paneling behind the bed, that's optional. That's not something that the builder will put on. So if you want that, it's on you. Pretty large master. Again, very open. You got your water closet to the right. The huge master shower and the closet. I didn't realize how big it was till I walked in it. But you'll see I'll pan to the left here. And there's, yep, I think I go backwards, yeah. I think I thought I was gonna edit this more, but we're just gonna roll with it. Got four feet at least from the entrance of there all the way to the back of the closet. There's your water closet, linens on the right. Uh, we'll make our way back. And I skipped over this because this is where the sales team is set up, that this would be your formal dining or a work from home office, whatever you'd like it to be. And we peek back left or right from our entrance. And there's the fourth bedroom, which is a little bit smaller, but it does have its own bathroom here. So it's great for when you have you know, the in-laws in town. I, I, again, I went back here thinking I'll do a nice big reveal, but we're just gonna roll with it. Scooch around and another nicely done bathroom with the shower and Those are so in these days. And then we got our huge laundry suite set up for dogs. It's a great place to have it. And that concludes our tour of the model home. So now let's talk about the community itself. So Eagle Creek only has 50 home sites in the entire community. As I mentioned before, there's seven different models in the cottage series, which start in the low 700s. And there's four different models in the garden series, which start in the 740s. The difference between the two is that the cottage series is on 50 foot wide lots and the garden series are on 60 foot wide lots. So, you know, somewhat of a substantial difference. Uh, today we toured the Adelaide model and that was in the cottage series. 
So almost all of the home sites have already been pre-sold or sold and the owners already live in it. As of recording, there's only about 13 left. So as far as square footage, all of the homes range in size from 2,200 square feet to 3,400 square feet. So these are pretty sizable homes, much larger than uh, many family homes, especially in Central and South County. As you get more north, there tend to be more larger homes. But for the area, it's still on the bigger side. Typically, that means they're gonna have their formal dining or formal office area on top of all the bedrooms and a larger living room. As far as community amenities go, it's really just the gate and the barbecue pit area. There's really not a whole lot going on as far as you know, parks, things like that. Smaller community, not a big footprint for the entire community, so there's really no place to put it even if they wanted to. But the main draw to Eagle Creek isn't necessarily the homes, which are beautiful and nicely done and super sturdy and huge. I don't know if I mentioned that part yet. But the main draw is the location. So let's talk about what brings people to this part of town. This community is located right on the edge of Palm Harbor, Tarpon Springs. As far as directly around you, you do have the Lipa Ratner Museum right across the street. It's pretty cool. I had I went to St. Pete College my first two years in the area and I spent some time in there. It's a pretty interesting spot. You also have US 19, which is the main artery for North Pinellas County traveling. It gets you to St. Pete, Tampa, Tampa International, wherever you want to go. They put a lot of money in that over the past 15, 20 years to where you can zip up and down the county, no problem. Now, as far as your downtown areas nearby, you have downtown Tarpon Springs, which is heavily Creek inspired. And I actually did a video, quick little 90 second video on Tarpon Springs. I'll link to that one in the description below, but it's a really, really charming Greek inspired downtown area with mom and pop shops, breweries, pop-up shops. You've got the world famous Tarpon Springs sponge docks and some pretty cool historic communities. That's about a 10, 15 minute drive. Slightly closer, maybe about, honestly, about five to 10 minutes from here is downtown Palm Harbor, which is a much smaller downtown region. It's only about three blocks, but it is the cutest mom and pop restaurants, just like Tarpon Springs, but less Greek inspired, more just suburban. And the restaurants are smaller, the vibe is smaller, you're right near the water. Things shut down around 10, 10.30, but it's still an awesome time. And just beyond downtown Palm Harbor is the Pinellas Trail, which if you're not aware, it's a 40 plus mile trail that goes from Tarpon Springs all the way down to St. Petersburg. And you can actually go through downtown Tarpon, Dunedin, Palm Harbor, Clearwater, Largo on the trail. And it's a great way to spend a day if you're into cycling or running. And then you've got my favorite downtown area in the entire county, which is downtown Dunedin. And downtown Dunedin is the, it's like the other two, mom and pop restaurants. There's no chains around here, but it's right on the water. And there's beautiful, beautiful sunsets here. Every day as the sun comes down over Clearwater Beach for Honeymoon Island, and speaking of which, you also have the beautiful Honeymoon Island right there, uh, which is, if you want to go to the beach, but you don't want to deal with traffic and all kinds of tourists, that's where locals go. It's a state park, no condos or houses or anything on it. It's just wide open. And that kind of gives you the area as far as if you, if you really enjoy and value being in the nightlife scene and having you know, late nights out and shows and things like that. This probably isn't the area for you. You're gonna to wanna to be closer to Tampa or Tarpon Springs. I'm sorry, Tampa or St. Petersburg. There's a lot of new construction communities like this near Tampa, about 15, 20 minutes northeast. There aren't very many in St. Pete. There's one I'm gonna cover that's coming up soon. It's called Seminole Isles. I'll have that one for you next week to look at. But outside of that, St. Pete's, you're going to find a lot more 1920s, 30s, 40s historic homes or brand new constructions that were spot builds on vacant lands or teardowns that were built in the past couple of years. So if you want to be near downtown area, this probably is a community for you. But if you value the small town feel, it's a really good area. Now, you won't be able to walk to any of this. It is a drive. You're not walking to anything from here, but it's a very short drive, very easy drive. Now, since we are talking Florida, uh, you should be aware of the golf scene that is around here. So 
the creme de la creme of the courses in the area. You've got Cypress Run, which is my favorite track. That's where I'm a member. That's where I play all the time. And it is a true player's track. There's a pretty cool membership base too. Um, and if you're interested in buying or selling or coming to the area, I'm happy to have you out as a round on me, come out as my guest. Then you've got Innisbrook, which hosts the Valspar Tournament every year in the PGA Tour when they make their Florida Swing. That's a really awesome golf community because there's four courses. There's Copperhead, which is the famous one the PGA Tour plays. Then there's the Island Course, which is the member course. I actually haven't played that one yet, but I've heard it's the hardest and one of the best tracks around. And from the street when I drive by it, it looks pretty cool. Then they have the North and the South Course. Those are a little more, you know, forgettable. They're more, you know, it's easier to get on. You're gonna have a perfectly fine golf experience, but it's not their top tier offering. Now just a peg below that, you're about a 15, 20 minute drive to the East Lake Corridor. Now on the East Lake Corridor, starting from the South going North, you have uh, Tarpon Woods, Landsbrook, Wentworth, Crescent Oaks, and then Fox Hollow. And as far as quality of golf course and design and conditions, that's probably the order I would put them in too. As you go north, they tend to be a little more nicer, a little more well kept up and have a little bit better of a design. Fox Hollow, for example, was Robert Trent Jones' last de design as a professional golf course architect. Those are all public courses. You can get on anywhere from 25 bucks in the afternoon, in the middle of summer. To sometimes they'll get a little greedy with the uh, weekend times and they'll, they'll get up to 70 to 80 on prime weekend tee times, but uh, yeah, that's about what they have to offer. So, so if you're interested in this community or any other communities in Tampa Bay area, my contact information is below. Give me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call, whatever it is, and uh, happy to show you around.